All right, what's up, everybody? We're here on Black Ops 3. So I'm actually recording this prior to these, like, almost a week or two before these videos are uploaded. So hopefully um, you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, when I upload them, I'll probably upload, like, two or three batches at once because I'm just going to pre-record everything. Um, but this is Black Ops 3. So how this is going to work is interesting so i'm i'm gonna hopefully play it generically like joe just start from mission one this is mission one right here black ops is the very first mission um you can see right here first mission and you can see that i was um back in the day i was replaying the story with a friend so i was playing with a uh, teammate and we started from the very beginning uh but we were also kind of jumping around because you can see here i have lotus towers but i didn't do the demon within and that so uh, we were jumping around doing different missions uh, because this game has a leveling up system, a whole like 15 level system, as well as a create a class system for um, for the story. So I do plan to use that during the story, and I want to keep my progress. You see, I'm level 11 already. Um, so that's why I'm making this little intro because you're gonna see kind of jump arounds. You might you might not see they might not be like smooth transitions, um, depending on whether or not I'm like need to switch my loadout or something, but. With that being said, let's get into Black Ops 3. Egyptian minister Saeed, taken hostage by NLC forces two days ago. After the uprising in Cairo, they may want to make an example of him. Unacceptable. We're not going to let that happen. Just so we're clear, if this goes wrong, you never exist anymore. Oh, 
Taylor, the version is in play. Bird is down. Confirmed. The sentries are leaving their post to respond to the crash. Proceed to the package. Make the grab before it breaks or gets broken. We're on it. See you at the RP. Roger that. While they're busy dealing with the crash, these uniforms should allow us to slip by unnoticed. So long as we don't have to talk to anyone. So keep your mouth shut. Security stations across the way in the tunnels. Once there, we'll be able to pinpoint the minister's exact location. Heads and weapons down. Keep it cool until we make the grab. I'll follow your lead. Just keep your head down. Taylor, we're at the security station. Moving to secure. I hear you, Hendricks. Let's do this. Ready when you are. I'll kill the alarms on this floor. Get plugged in and locate the minister. Taylor, scanning for package. Waiting for a hit on facial recognition. Other hostages. I thought it was only the minister. Yeah, so did I. Poor sons of bitches. The NRC are known for their brutality. Taylor, did you know there were other prisoners? The minister is the only priority. Understood. Check the next feed. Are we just gonna leave him to be tortured? We have our orders. No match. That's him, the minister. He's being moved. We have to find out where they're taking him. Bingo. Match confirmed. Moving to secure. ETA? Two minutes. Two minutes. I'll be timing you. Son of a bitch was never funny. You sound like the voice of experience. Trust me. I am.
cell block ahead. On me. I'll take point. You breach observation. You invaded our home. We only did what we had to do. Yeah, no. Interrogator has his back to the door. Yeah. Two Betray centuries inside. My people. The guard's down. You are cowards. On my mark. Three, two, go! We're here to extract you. Do as I say, and you'll make it through this. What about Lieutenant Khalil and the others? Sorry, no time. Khalil was a hero of the Cairo uprising. You know that makes him a valuable asset for their propaganda. They will make an example of him. Fuck! All right, let's go! Here, this one. Get the door, I'll cover. I'll cut the poor bastard down. Minister. Khalil. Uh, Hendrix. Can you fight, Khalil? Always. We'll grab a weapon from the locker room up ahead and reprogram it to match your biometrics. Sounds like they're finally on to us. Let's move. Taylor. Package plus one, secure and inbound. Plus one, your orders were to extract the minister. His name is Lieutenant Khalil. Sound familiar? Get moving. We'll see you topside. Depot ahead will be heavily guarded. Get ready to go loud. I just want to make a point here. This is going to be, uh, some of your people are going to be like, why are you stopping the gameplay, man? I, I do not know how to EXO, man. <laughs> I have no idea how to EXO. So you're going to see me try to EXO in the next couple of episodes or next couple of missions, and it's going to be rough. But by the time we're on to, like, Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare era, we'll be, I'll be back to my normal EXO skills. But, man, it is rough learning how to EXO again. Like, it is such a hard thing to, re like, relearn again. But, yeah, back to the normal gameplay. If we do, trust me, we're dead if we don't. Drop them, go for it. You're late. Your imaginary watch is fast. Nice to see you, Jacob. You too, John. You look, you look different. Still seeing Rachel? That didn't work out. That's a pity. Mm -hmm. yeah. New blood? Gonna take care of him as good as you did me? That's not funny, man. We still set on our Rexville? Charges are set. 
All right, good to go. Exfil in 10. Diaz, you're on babysitting duty. Let's roll. Stay close. Weapons are no good against that APC. We gotta bring down that beast ball. Aim for the missile. APC is down. Diaz, I'm in position. Copy that. Hendricks, rendezvous with Hall on the other side of the hangar. Try and keep up, all right?
Roger that. Accessing building's electrical systems. Heads up, we have multiple hostiles inside the comms room. Now what? Beetle's got us pinned down! Easy! Hold your fire, he's mine! Ah! Taylor! Alpha 2 team has rejoined for Xville. Comes easy now, doesn't it, Taylor? Extract is the satellite tower. We'll commandeer vehicle and get you to extract. You didn't answer me, John. We've got this. Keep up. Secondary route's just ahead. You guys hear that? You hearing things already? That itchy finger of yours is infecting your ears. Hey. Fuck you. Shut up. I hear it too. Listen. Holy shit. Contact! Contact! NRC assault robots moving in. A shitload of them. We need that door open now. Give us some cover fire. Get inside. Go, go, go. Get to the extract. We'll deal with the robots. Taylor, we're in the clear. We can take it from here. Those other hostages we saw, you can get them out. Not a mission priority. They may not be a mission priority, but they're still people, damn it! Or have you changed so much that you've forgotten what that feels like? All right, change of plan. Hendrix, your team will escort the minister to the extract. We'll go back and get the hostages. More robots. Yeah, don't worry about them. We were built to handle them. Juan, get out of here. Go! I got the wheel. Get on the turret. Get ready! We got a shitload of grunts moving on our position!
secondary rendezvous with plus four packages. Copy that. Going off road. Hexville in sight. Fuck. Coming in too fast. There's a ride. Hexville pod first pass en route. Hang tight down there. Pod detached. Hexville airspace non viable. Drone will sweep around for a second pass. NRC reinforcements coming from the left. Minister, are you all right? Can you move? I'm fine. I'm fine. Please, just get me out of here. We gotta move! Get out of here! Now! Hold them back! We're getting the minister into position! Drone concentrating fire on multiple targets. Let's wrap this up, boys. Keep them back! We're almost out of here! It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You got smarter than you. Achieved our objectives. A man's always gonna be better than a machine. But unfortunately, you sustain life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? Downtown Zurich. <laughs> hey. Still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be real. 
What is happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. RPG! 11.30 a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome, train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. It's gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapons hot. Start the floor with you, Dad. Ready to explode! Grab some cover! Right to the left. There's never just one route. High, low, left, right. Different paths yield different advantages. Your DNI can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battle. Switch it to tactical mode. Mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. 
It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, pow, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Hack in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Come on, let's go. Second level. Inside, interface with the central console. Pull any data you can. Hey, it's a 
okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in and tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, well, right now, you're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault, man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome. Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning, appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now. Pick up the trail. Heads up. Hostile. Second floor. Check your fire. Civilians are not targets. I still have line of sight. This is your only warning. Our boy's hacking the ZSF talons. What does that tell you? He's running Don't scared. take him out, newbie. Not we need him computer. alive. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI, too. You're a smart one, New Blood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. He's heading into Old Zurich. Move.
Didn't work out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnels to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. <laughs>